Welcome to the penultimate final wager. I've been waiting all season to say that. It's the first night of our two-day total point affair. I am certainly glad I was not playing the two-day total point affair drinking game because Alex said it twice and I would probably not be doing this video right now. I'd probably be uh, on the floor somewhere. All right, so this is a daily double in all respects. So each player can wager what they think makes sense, knowing that tomorrow they'll add whatever score they get at the end of that game to this game's final total. So I was expecting Cooper to go big here to try to get back into contention, Jeff to go pretty small just because he seems like a conservative wagerer, and Alan to go really big because he seems to like literature, and he was very aggressive in the quarterfinals. As it turns out, Cooper got it wrong and wagered 5,400. Jeff got it wrong and wagered 2,000. And Alan got it right and wagered 5,800. So, Alan is in the lead with 25,000. Jeff is in second with 15,000. And Cooper, a distant third with 200, but who knows? Anything can happen. Now, because this is a two-day match, I'm going to leave this here. This will be day one. This will be the day two final total, and here will be the grand total. I'm going to leave this up here overnight. I hope no one comes along and erases it. <laughs> Dan Possum goes out to you. Still have my key. I do want to tell one funny story. The three finalists always get whisked away immediately after the semifinals conclude and they get taken to a special area to eat lunch. No one can talk to them except for Maggie and the other contest coordinators, whoever's their handler for the time being. And in my college championship, it might have been the most awkward meal I ever had just because it was three 18 and 19 year old boys who really just wanted to crap their pants tried to make jokes, but really, was, we just wanted to go into a corner and die. And then you get to go on to stage with 15 million people watching you and lots of money on the line and prestige and all that good stuff. And I think these three guys handled the first game very well. We'll see how tomorrow goes, the final, final wager of the season, and I hope to see you then.